Travel through space becomes travel through time. If you build a warp drive that moves faster than light, you've essentially built a time machine. Convenient, but in conflict with all known laws, especially causality. In the case of superluminal travel with a warp drive, there's another issue besides causality, the event horizon problem. It turns out that when the bubble moves faster than the speed of light, the metric becomes singular, similar to that of a black hole. Two horizons appear, a positive and a negative one, equivalent to the event horizons of a black hole and a white hole. In essence, space-time is warped, resulting in the formation of a black hole and a white hole, each with its own horizon. It's hard to fully imagine the properties of these horizons. Still, one thing is clear. They would prevent the warp drive crew from controlling how matter or energy is distributed to specific regions of the bubble.